Hey guys, I'm going to do an update on all of my colonies today because I got home from the amusement park and they were all doing really bad. Um, I was able to recover the colonies to some extent though, luckily. Let's start with my Campanotus nearcticus. Now you see my Campanotus nearcticus is fine. Um, you see, um, she, one of her workers died while I was gone. She still got one of her workers. And they're eating fruit flies, and they're still doing well. So, yeah. Um, unfortunately, this colony lost a worker, but they've got a lot of brood, luckily. So, that will hopefully make up for it eventually. When this brood matures, they will hopefully get more workers. This colony, my Campanotus Nearcticus, I had to move them to a new thing. Because um, they were dying. I found three dead workers, and I'm pretty sure it's from mold. So I moved them to this new, slightly larger test tube, and I accidentally broke the old test tube in the process. So, yeah, that test tube is out of business, and I'll have to get some more test tubes when I get back to school from my teacher. But yeah, this colony is down to eight workers, but luckily they have been doing very well and haven't lost any since I moved them to their nice new enclosure. And they've got a lot of fruit flies, and they brought all their brood. I didn't have to move them manually. They simply moved from one enclosure to the other very heartily because it was so moldy. Although they did transfer a few pieces of mold on the cotton. Like they pulled the cotton off of the old setup and moved it to this one, which is kind of weird. And I hope it really doesn't um, interfere with anything. Now you see, this next colony, my Pennsylvanicus, are the ones that really took the beating. Now you see, they had seven workers when I left. And um, they now they've only got two. One of which only has one antennae for some reason. I think there was like cannibalism going on because a lot of the colony, unlike the other um, corpses that I found in these two, the corpses of the ants in this one were like sucked dry. Um, but I did feed them a big spider before leaving, so I'm not sure why they would like do that. I'm really not sure what happened with this colony, but I moved them to a smaller enclosure and it's just a little like. Thing that um, it doesn't have any holes in it but I open it every day and get it air so yeah um, my mom doesn't want me to break this Tupperware bin so I'm just like airing it out whenever I can so yeah this is their new enclosure and they haven't really been taking care of their brood they ate a lot of their larger brood and now they've only got a little bit of eggs right there if you can see that so yeah these two colonies are doing okay they haven't done super well but they're doing okay ever since I recovered them from the um, trip, and this colony isn't. So next time I go on a road trip in a few weeks, I'm going to go to the Adirondacks and go camping. I'm actually going to try to bring these ants with me. Yeah. So, yeah, that is an update on all of my ant colonies, and, um, yeah, I hope they start doing better soon since I fed them. And, yeah. actually considering releasing this colony into the wild, this Pennsylvanicus colony, since they really aren't doing well in captivity, and I can't really find anybody who wants to buy them online, so yeah, sadly this colony might be being released back into the wild soon, and I I think I know just the place. Um, my grandparents live in the middle of the woods, there's a lot of dead lumber in one area of the woods, and only a few colonies of carpenter ants there, so I'll try to relocate this colony if I can. So yeah, that is an update on my colonies, and I hope you enjoy, and see you in the next video. Do you guys think that I should really introduce this colony back into the wild? I'm really not sure. I mean, they haven't done well. They had seven workers. They were doing really well until I went on this trip. That was like a week long, and I fed them before I went on the trip. I didn't take the one spider out of their enclosure because it was only in there for a few days, and it was covered in mold, and the remaining survivors were trying to escape um, when I got home. So, yeah, I, this colony's had some troubles, and I'm really not sure if I'm going to even keep them in captivity any longer.